Welcome back, welcome back guys. Today we're unboxing the Galaxy A23 5G. Just launched a couple days ago or about a couple weeks ago in August for Boost Mobile and for Metro by T-Mobile. So same device, just different box. The one we're looking at is the Boost Mobile version. We're gonna take a first look and see what's inside and talk about the features of the phone out of the box. So we have the phone open. Uh, we actually took the plastic cover off and let's show you what's inside. So inside the phone, we get a quick start guide. We also have a SIM card slot opener. We also have a type C to type C charging cable, about a three feet cable, nothing special. Uh, this device does offer fast charging via 25 watts. So you can get fast charging on this device. Now let's take a look at the phone. So here we have the device fully powered on. As you can see, we do have a beautiful 6.6 .6 full HD plus display. It does offer 120 uh, hertz of uh, refresh rate on the display. So that's perfect for gaming videos and multitasking and pretty much browsing around your screen. So you'll see you'll have a snappy uh, display. Um, let's take a look at the phone. The phone does offer a, a power button with a fingerprint sensor. It looks like it probably has it built in right here. We do have the volume rocker right here on the right side. On the top, we do have a microphone for the speaker. On the left, we do have the SIM card slot right here. So this is where you would take out your SIM card and insert it. Here in the bottom, what we got, we actually did get a headphone jack, which we didn't get on the A53. We have a microphone, a speaker, and a Type-C port right then and there. In the back, we do have this nice black color, as you can see, very nice. We also have this new layout for the cameras. It looks like we have four cameras and a flash, and it looks like it picks up fingerprints, but not as, as it picks up more smudges than fingerprints. Camera-wise, we do get four cameras. We get a 50 megapixel main camera. We also get a five megapixel ultra wide camera. We get a two megapixel deck camera. We get a two megapixel macro camera. And in the front, it looks like they saved some money. We have this little top notch uh, front facing camera. This camera is an eight megapixel camera. So they saved some money on the front facing camera, but they gave us a 50 megapixel camera in the back. Now let's look inside. Let's see what we get inside. So under the hood, this phone does have a 5,000 milliamp battery. The phone itself does not have a removable battery, so you cannot remove this bad cover and take out your battery. So you get 5,000 milliamps, you get 44 hour talk time according to Samsung. One thing I did notice about this device is that the storage is kinda, uh, it's 64 gigs built in, but the software itself, I haven't installed anything on here, just turn on the phone, has 19.2 uh, use, so you get 44 gigs after the software that needs to run the phone. So that's kind of a lot, 20 gigs just to run the phone. Uh, it is a 5G device. Uh, we do have a Snapdragon processor. Uh, the Snapdragon is a 695 5G processor, up to 2.2 gigahertz of processing power. It is does sport a four gigs of internal memory, so that should be pretty smooth. Overall, it looks pretty smooth. It's not too, too laggy. So you get four gigs of uh, RAM. And then we also do have Android 12 built in. So Android 12 built in, let's see, software information. So we do Android 12 and the one UI is 4.1. Another thing about this phone, we do have for locking purposes. If you want to lock your device for security purposes, you would go to, uh, per, where is it? Lock screen. For your lock screen, you can actually set up your face. So your front facing, front facing camera will scan your face or you can set up a fingerprint right here as well. So you have two ways to lock it, which is pretty cool, pretty unique. Another thing this phone does offer, it does offer um, um, Samsung Pay and Sam, uh, Google Pay because it does have a built-in NFC reader. So you can pay with your Samsung Pay. Pretty much you tap it in the back when you go to a credit card reader or Walmart or maybe McDonald's and stuff like that. You can install it, pretty much scan your credit cards in there, sign in and securely pay with your phone, which is a nice feature to see on these mid-range phones. This phone retails for $300. Uh, right now in the store, you can get it for about $100 at Metro and free with uh, certain Boost Mobile stores. So you get some nice features and some nice discounts if you buy in store. And overall, it looks like a very smooth phone. Uh, I think we should test the sound, see how good the speakers are, because I believe they also have Dolby sound. So let's check that out. So overall sound, I would give it about 9 out of 10. It's pretty loud. Right now we have it on like a mid, mid volume, about 70%. Uh, I like the colors as you can see the display looks amazing looks pretty clear um, 
this phone does also offer Dolby Atmos if you have headphones or Bluetooth on especially. So let's bump it up, see how good it sounds. We have one speaker here on the bottom. So like I said, I give it about 8.5, 9 out of 10 because the sound is good, it's loud, and it's only coming out of this speaker. So it looks good, sounds good. Let's check out another video. Here we're actually checking out a 4K video. We can actually go up to quality wise, we can actually go to 1080p by 60 frames per second. And as you can see, it looks pretty good. Very detailed. Perfect for movies, YouTube videos. A lot of detail. We did a good job on this screen. A23, pretty much an upgrade from the A13. In the middle from A32. I mean, it has a better camera than A32, which is not bad. And it's also 5G. It looks amazing. Not much glare. I mean, you put it in the sun, but it looks good. For the camera, we do get some nice features. We actually get portrait mode. We get regular photo mode. The camera, you can actually zoom in up to 10. Let me see if I can check that out. So let's go. So we get 0 0.5, 1.0, 2.0, 4.0, 10. And then this is the pictures I was able to take. So this is from the store. Then that's 0.5, that's 0.1, that's four, and that's 10. So very nice pictures, very detailed. We're outside the store. And I'm taking the picture from the window. So we still got some window fuzz there, but the pictures look good, very detailed. And then for more features, we actually have pro mode, panorama, food, night, macro, and slow motion. And recorder as well, full HD. 30 frames per second or HD 30 frames per second. So overall, very solid device, uh, mid-range device, uh, under $300. Um, you get a nice quality phone. And like I said, major discounts when you sign up for Boost or Metro. Right now, Boost, certain stores get them free. But overall, I just wanted to do a quick walkthrough of all the features. And hopefully this video helps you guys out. If you guys want me to check something out or if you guys want me to test, I was thinking about doing a gaming gaming tests and i was thinking about doing about you know downloading some apps people may need or people may want but if you guys want more please drop down in the comments thanks for watching guys i'll also leave a link to the boost mobile website in case you're trying to buy it so thanks for watching guys